Hello everyone and welcome back to Pastania. One thing that I forgot to pin to the screen was the event log last time, so there we go. We now got the event log going. Let's press play. Alright, so the current goal is just to get our population back up from all the deaths we had in the first episode. In that brutal, brutal couple years. Trying to think what we would need. We don't need two builders, that's for sure. We don't need the herbalist right now. We could use another gatherer, another. Let's use another fish person. And we'll leave one builder to get the blacksmith going at some point. We also need to gather stone. I think that's already been collected. Let's do this. Because I think we also have trees that are being collected, and I don't want that to happen. I just want this stone. So we can finish this blacksmith, and then we'll go from there. And our food should be good for a while. The amount of workers we have on them should be good. Hopefully. And then after the blacksmith goes up, we want to build the small chapel? Parish house. Parish house, that's what we want. So that's pretty easily achieved. We just need the stone. There's really not much going on, so I'm just going to fast forward it back to 10. Although... What I'm going to have to do as well is get a marketplace up, because this is a long way to... Zero for tools is low. Yeah, yeah, I know. Two more children born. Three more children born. Uh, but yeah, so that's a long way to go to the storage barn from the fishery, so I need to get a marketplace up to collect all this stuff for the people so they don't have to walk all over the place. Well, uh, okay, let me actually take that back. Put a storage barn up here, marketplace down here, so that people don't have to walk up here to get fish. So I'll probably end up putting another fishery either down here or over here. Eh, probably actually right here with all this river right there. Yeah, that's probably going to be a good spot. So I'll build a storage barn around there, marketplace down here, chapel like way over here for no good reason. No, just kidding. And we have a laborer. Um, I may just leave this person as a laborer for right now because we need to gather all the stone. Which should still be, yeah. Eight and four, we're getting up there. Blacksmith is now being built. Excellent. So I will lay down the plans for the parish house. Hmm. Let's do this like that. Because I would like the marketplace right here and then just build the community out with the marketplace in the center. So we'll build a little up and have this entire area be the community. Have this area be the blacksmith, the tailor, all that working area. And uh, we'll build a town hall. Well, we'll get to that when we get there. But that's the that's the goal. This entire area being houses and schools, hospitals, things like that. I'm really hoping the parish house helps with the happiness. Uh, this wasn't just a waste of building materials and laborers. Speaking of... I'm going to need to put this laborer as a worker to get us some more tools. Ooh, which means we're going to need to collect iron as well. I 
And we're also going to need some more firewood. Hmm. Alright. Make you the fire or the wood cutter for right now. And we're out of tools. Not good. I'd say we're still doing okay. We're, we're still on the, the bounce back. Aha! Another adult. Mm. Need you as a laborer for now. There we go. We're getting some tools back. I think we're looking alright. We're gonna be getting to the part or the point where we need to actually build a new house. Exciting. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. So we should probably get rid of this. Eh, we'll do it later. I don't think this hurts anything to have it here for right now. Other than it's just, it may be in our way later. But not for right now. But our food, it keeps going up. Excellent. So now we're going to have to also mark some trees to be cut down as well. Running low on wood. The Pastanias will live on. They will get their chain of pasta restaurants back up. Too bad there's no pasta in this game. That would have been, in this mod, that would have been pretty cool. So we can. I think we can take off the woodcutter. And maybe keep that person as a labor for right now to chop down more trees and gather materials. Look at that, we've already reached the limit? That's totally fine. I'm not gonna raise the limit right now, we have no need for it. Just be a waste of resources at this point. Yeah, a pair of shops going up. We have another laborer. Right, yes, of course you do, because that was a woodcutter. Well, you're about to become a cleric. Boom shaka. Alright, now hopefully this raises the happiness eventually. So that's been taken care of. So I think we got our bases covered now. As long as it does cover happiness. I think we... We're alright. This community can now fully function. Let's do this. We did lose some of our firewood, so now we need to get more. Oh, those have already been marked. Okay. Harvest all those trees.
maybe next we should get a school. That's pretty important, I think. But we would need another person to be the school teacher. We do have one laborer free, I suppose. Okay. I still wouldn't want the marketplace to be in the center, so let me actually slow down time a little bit and plan this out. Because now we have different market stalls and things. Oh, wow. You used to provide a localized area for citizens to collect food, tools, clothing, materials, and fuel. And this is specialized stalls. Oh. So this is the normal market of the game. And that's the new one. Wait, what's the... A large localized area. It looks to be about the same size to me. Am I missing something? Food, tools, clothing, materials, fuel. And yeah, they do the same thing. This just costs more. Oh, no, I guess... Maybe it is slightly bigger? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, this is what we would want. Um, so we would place that probably right there, or about, maybe right there. So let's get the dimension, let's do this, let's build roads. So we know we want it to be up against this corner. So now I know where I can build some other buildings. Like the uh, school. Just what I would want next. Hmm. Let's build it. I want to make sure I can get a home in there. So we need four slots to get the home. So the house will start here. Okay. Then we may get a row between them two. Alright, so that's where we want that. Supplies still looking okay, firewood's fine. Tools are fine. Speed of time a little bit. All right, so that's where it's going to go. So it is going to stop. Build some more roads later. No new laborers yet. Come on, children, you need to grow. Happiness has not gone up. Maybe it takes some time to uh, get over the deaths of all those people. New child is born. Cool. And now let's focus on the trees still. Now we got another laborer to join the work crew.
I was going to build something here. Was that where the church was going to go originally? Because I was clearing the roads for that, wasn't I? Oh, well. Hmm. It's going down a little bit. This is getting like nothing. We need more food. But the thing is also these fishermen have to walk a long way to drop the fish. If it is indeed their job to do that, which I'm assuming it is, and not laborers. And there's only two of them there too, so... It's not exactly under full... Operation. And another child. Here goes the school. Hey, there it is. Happiness and health is going up. Yes! Yeah! Pastania. It's going to be an excellent place to live. Plus, this place, unlike Shanksville, is going to have decorations. It's going to have, like, hedge bushes. Look at that. Like a hedge wedge or wide hedge. Customized hedge. Look at this. Just three-way hedge. We're gonna have like a whole hedge mage. Maze. <laughs> I said mage, didn't I? Maze in the place. Flowers. This place is gonna look great. Flip, flip, flipping like punishment places. That would have been useful for Shanksville. A flag for the Empire. A Pastania flag. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get the flag. Privy Charter Statue. That's cool. Huh. I like these walls, too. A warm home for your shoreline. What? Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I have not been paying attention to this. So we have two more laborers now. I'm sitting here looking at all the things we can build and... Ah, it's kind of okay to have laborers. We need to clear all these resources out. But, let's also... Increase that. And I would like to get a storage barn. I think like a smaller barn. The meat locker stores meat and meat products, also including nuts and fish. Okay, that's, I think, what I want. Instead of a full-size barn. This is a lot cheaper. So let's get a meat locker. Uh, we're gonna want another fishery up there. Hmm. Probably gonna want the meat locker, like... I mean, we can always build two, I guess. For right now, to make the trip quicker, I guess we'll just put it over here. Alright, so that's the next project. And then after that, market this. That's really expensive too. But we have plenty of resources around to cover it. It's just gonna take time. Just gonna take time. Yeah. We just got a new laborer.
No students. Hmm. I guess you only have two children. Alright. Let's just have you be labor then for now. It's kind of a waste. So when that's completed, oh, you know, let's do this. We'll do two builders. When that's completed, I think we build a new house. Hunting lodge too. Maybe you're off to the side over here. There it is. Okay. So that's being built. Let's put wooden house. And yeah, we'll leave a space for a road around the school. Or maybe like a space for flowers or something. Make it look pretty. Ah, actually, that's not important right now. I do want to connect that. And that is enough room for another home. So, perfect. Tools are starting to go down a little bit. Not dangerously low yet, though. Ah, meat locker! Wait a minute. I need to make sure these people are actually taking this to the meat locker. Stop what you're doing and take one of these things in there. So no, it's working. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah! It's working. Alright. Excellent. I'm feeling really good how Pastani has turned around. To a bustling community. Ah, eh, maybe it's really to say bustling. Four homes doesn't make a bustling community. Also, our supplies are going to take a slight dive when people will take this house. But we'll be fine. Look at that! Cleric and labor. Let's get it on. Ah, let's get it on. That's the jams that's coming out of the house right now. Need some new kids to be born. Aww, Barely's all alone. Wait a minute. What the heck? I thought the cleric was living in here. 
The clerk's only 14 years old? Alright. Whatever you say, game. Oh, you know what? These people need coats. Ah, there's always something. I also think we need more homes. Yeah, we're gonna need coats. So they can work outside longer. During the winter time. There we go. Last season, 195. They're already up to 353. Vast improvement, I'm gonna say because of the meat locker. Maybe, hopefully that's the reason. Now I remember someone telling me that hide coats do almost nothing though. And that what you want is wool, but I'm so far away from wool. I have no sheep, I have no trading posts, it's gonna be a while before I do. But to get a hunter's lodge, like I wish I could have the hunter's lodge just specifically go for leather. Not necessarily for food. Ooh, two children were born! Yeah! Cool. Now we have four children, can we get some students? Or is it still going to be a waste? Nah, it's probably still going to be a waste. Until we get a lot of kids. I guess, I guess the school is a waste. It'll get some use though, eventually. We are going to need to bump that tool limit back up to 50. Collect all that. Yeah! Patrick and... or... Pariki and Fred. I wonder if this game is... Or I should say, if the AI is intelligent enough, that if I were to build a home over here, it would be populated by, like, a fishing couple. Hmm. Kind of curious. So we have a female child there, and a male child there, also another female, um, which means we can probably get another home here in a little bit. So I think I'm actually going to put that down now. And let's get the marketplace. Plant it down. Six children? Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. New laborer. We're gonna need more people on food. So let's do that. Is that already full? Yep. And I think I'm gonna get a hunting lodge somewhere over here. Probably like right there. Or maybe over here, because there is a meat shack already over here. 
And I don't remember, but I want to say that the tutorial told me that the um, this lodge could be used either in pl like open plains or in forested areas. Now, my Shanksville I used it in the forested area, and it looked, works really well. But like, can I do half and half? Like, does that matter? If I was to put it right here, would that actually catch anything? That's part of the community. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'll wait until these some marketplace is up anyway. Give me time to research, I guess. I'm sure there's a wiki for the game. I could just be like, hey, can I build? Hunting lodges in the plains. Alright, so now we have five kids. But I wonder if you don't have the school up and running when the child is born if they're not automatically enrolled. Like if I have to wait for the next round of children to be born. Because there are no students here. Yeah. Although that still holds nothing to this gathering hut. Jeez. Gathering huts are so good. So good. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. So if you enjoyed, I will see you all next time. Take care.